Hello everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple intro text animation in Adobe After Effects. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. You can use whatever size and duration you want, but I'm going to use the standard 1920 by 1080 HD size, and 15 seconds should be enough for me to work with. Pressing OK, I'm next going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and just create a black solid for us to work against, for example. Now to begin, I'm going to create that center line. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Shape Layer, and then I'm going to grab my Pen Tool from the top toolbar. You want to make sure that in the settings you have it set to Tool Creates Shape. You can use a fill of None and a Stroke. Make sure you have the Stroke set to at least Solid Color or Gradient if you want to get fancy. And here you can also choose the Stroke Color. I'll leave it at White. And the Stroke Width or Thickness, I'll leave it at 10 pixels. So clicking on the shape layer, we can create our first points, and then holding shift just to make sure it's a straight line, I can create just about as long of a line as I want. And you should see that stroke automatically appear. Again, if you don't, make sure that those settings are correct. So you can adjust it as you like, but I'm going to leave it like so. And just to center it real quick, because it's kind of hard to center it visually, we're going to go to Layer, Transform, and first we're going to center the anchor points in the layer content. You see the anchor point goes to the middle of the line. And then we're going to go to Layer, Transform, and Center in View. So now our line is in the center so we can begin working. Next, I'm going to create our two text layers. So first, let's go to Layer, New Text, and type out whatever words or logos we have. So I'm going to write out Odisho, my last name. And in the right hand side, I'm going to highlight the text. You should see the character panel. Here's where you can choose all of the different things about the font, the size, and the color that you want. So for this first one, I'm going to make it white and I'm going to leave all the settings like so. Now I'm going to move this text kind of roughly to where I want it. And for the text, if you want to align it, you can go to the align panel. And for example, I want to make sure it's centered vertically, so I'm going to click this Align Vertically button. Now I can make sure it's in the middle. So once you're happy with that, you can repeat the same process, or I like to just copy paste that layer, and then on the second one, just change it to say whatever else I want. So put Media, and repeat the process. So this time, I'm going to make this gray, a little bit of a change of color. Again, you can use whatever colors and if you have logos instead of text, you can drag those in. And I'm going to align this one again vertically. If you'd like to adjust the position a little bit more, you can always drop down the properties in the transform section. You can adjust the position with the typical sliders. So now I want to create the animation where it moves in position, but it only reveals itself from that line. So to do that, we're going to use a couple masks and keyframes in combination. So first, I want to create a mask kind of at this center line. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm going to right click on that solid layer and select Mask, New, Mask. So now you should see this yellow bounding box appear. And if I just make sure I have my pointer tool active, I can move this mask around to be wherever I like. So you can put it right there. And actually, since we're just using the entire solid, we can use the Align panel and just align the center of this to the right hand side. And if we're using everything centered, it should get us perfectly in half. So either way you do it, what we've done is create a mask on half the composition. And you can kind of see that. So now we're going to use this layer as kind of a reference or a track mat for our text layers. So in this case, making sure that that mask solid layer is directly above the right side text layer, I'm going to go to the track mat section and drop down this menu and choose to use that black solid as the alpha mat. You should see the visibility of that mask solid layer disappear. You can tell by this eyeball is missing here. And what we've done now is make it so that this text layer can only be within the bounds of that mask. So now if I move it around, you see that it disappears when it goes past that mask. Now one quick thing I'm going to do just because the, the thickness of the line can vary is I'm just going to move that shape layer on top of everything. That way it looks a little bit cleaner. But getting back to our text layer, here's where we can use some keyframes to animate it in. So 
for the position, you can click on that stopwatch icon. And since it's already in a good position here at the end, I'm going to drag this little diamond keyframe over, uh, maybe right at the two second mark, somewhere near there. And then to create another keyframe in the start, you notice I kind of did things backwards to make it easier for ourselves. I'm going to move the position away from its original and to the left until it's fully disappeared. So just like that. So if I play that back, I should see the text slowly reveal itself. You can highlight these keyframes and right click them and maybe choose something like Easy Ease under the keyframe assistant and you'll see them change shape. If we open up the graph editor, you can see what's going on. It just kind of gently eases out of the first keyframe and eases into the first one, adding a little bit of velocity to it. You can always take a look at things and edit them from there as well. There's more tools, maybe for a separate tutorial. But playing that back, you should be able to see the difference in movement. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other text layer, except we just need to create a copy of this mask to use it again. So I'm going to press Command C and Command V, drag this one on top of the other text layer, and instead of using alpha matte, we're going to use alpha inverted matte to use the other half of the layer. So that way we don't have to make two masks since we're just using a half and half split. But now we've done the same thing for this other text layer and we can just animate it in the same way. So drop down the transform section, click the stopwatch icon for position and uh, move that first one to where you want it to end. And then this time we're going to move the X position to the right. I'm also going to add the ease on those keyframes. So there's a nice little touch. And now we have the two texts revealing. Now, those are the text revealing at the same time. However, you can also stagger them so that one appears first and the other appears second simply by dropping down both of the keyframes so you can see them. And let's say I want to make the media appear second since it's on the right. I can just highlight those keyframes and kind of make it start as near the other one's ending. So this way we have one and then the other. You can play around with the spacing as you like. Seems a little bit too slow for me, but you can see how you can easily stagger and adjust these keyframes. Also, as a final touch, I want to make the line reveal itself too. So I'm going to drop down the properties of that shape layer in the transform section. And under the scale, I'm going to add a keyframe at the very beginning. I'm going to unlink the X and Y position by clicking this little chain. And then I'm going to just decrease the Y vertical axis to 0%. So it's going to start at zero. And then I'm going to move over to, let's say, like right about here and make it go back up to 100. So now I have the line expanding as well as the text. A quick tip as you're adjusting all the spacing of things, if you ever want to change it back to just a normal linear keyframe from ease, you just hold command and click on that keyframe and it'll cycle through back to linear. You could call it finished at that point. If you want, you can make everything reveal back into itself, either by reversing this intro, kind of like a boomerang effect, if you're using it in something like Premiere Pro, or you could just copy all these keyframes, paste them in on the layers, and then just switch the position of the second ones. But you do want to make sure that you pay attention to the timing and all that. So those are the basics of how to create this intro text animation reveal in Adobe After Effects. Hopefully you learned some tips on keyframes and masks and track mats. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.